Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shadogs the Born Bot Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News from update. This is not the longest one in the world, but it is an update nonetheless. This is from Blackpool Pleasure Beach, and for those of you who are the general public, you will want to be interested in this because if you want a great destination for Christmas, then we've got the perfect one for you. Because Blackpool Pleasure Beach have officially announced for the first time in 15 years, Winter Weekends is back. And we're going to be going through all the details surrounding this Winter Weekends. Into... Now, there isn't much details for now, uh, but they have announced dates and there's some other information that's come out from the park as well. So we're going to show you all of that and I'm going to show you my thoughts on that. And also, we're going to link the website of the park in the description down below and I'll tell you guys uh, where to go to stay tuned for more information. Uh, so before we get started, guys, please like the video if you've loved it. Please comment your thoughts down below. Please subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video as well. Uh, make sure you share the channel with your friends, your family, and on social media. Please, we're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers. We've got some brilliant content coming up. We've got theme park pack openings. We've got some interviews, hopefully. Uh, we've got some fantastic videos. In the next few years, I want to release some merchandise. I want to release, you know, this this hoodie to the world. Uh, and also, guys, make sure you send in your questions as well as your shout-outs and your video suggestions. Use the hashtag question before or after your question and those questions will be for our next subscriber special when we hit 2,000 subscribers. We're getting closer and closer to 1,700 subscribers and we're getting closer and closer to the 2,000 by the day. So thank you very much guys, let's get into this video. So, for those of you who have missed the news, Winter Weekends has been announced. So, for the first time in 15 years, Winter Weekends will be coming to the park. So, let's give you some details then, some first details on what this will entail. So, Blackpool Pleasure Beach have today announced that they'll be extending their season to cover weekends from the 31st of October through to the 13th of December, which will tie in with Blackpool Illuminations, which will now run until the 3rd of January. They've also confirmed that season pass holders will be able to use their passes over these extended dates, uh, which is very, very cool indeed. Um, so, basically, Blackpool Pleasure Beach will prolong the fun fact to beyond November, so the winter weekends from the 7th of November until the 13th of December, so even though the park runs past October, it's the 7th of November to the 13th of December, that's when the winter weekends will run. Uh, and of course, like I said, the season pass holders as well. Uh, now, reposted from Pleasure Beach on someone's Instagram, the Pleasure Beach's statement officially on their Instagram is great news, smiley emoji with a bit of a, uh, a laughing eye emoji as well. We're delighted to announce that we are extending our 2020 season until December the 15th. Uh, 15th? 13th? Why am I saying that? Uh, you will be able to enjoy Blackpool Pleasure Beach in the day and the illuminations at night. So, that, my friends, is the official statement from the Black the Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Uh, now, of course, you've got, to, you've got to remember, 15 years ago, so Blackpool Pleasure Beach 2005. That is a very different Pleasure Beach to what it was now. You've, got, you've had things like Beaver Creek, the Wild Mouse... Uh, trauma towers on its last legs um, You know you've had other the, these other fantastic additions the drench force log flume was on its final year uh, Ready for infusion to come in um, It's a it was a vet the Tom Sawyer bridge was still in so it's a very different park to 15 years ago um, But I like how the pleasure beach are doing this now I know a lot of people will say oh they want to try and earn back some money they've lost during the spring I really don't see it as that. I see it as a way of, you know, they didn't really open in the spring. They're going to get the, the ch a chance in the summer with the measures in place to reopen, uh, with the right measures in place. But I see this as a magical opportunity for families to come down for the Christmas period and just have fun. Just have fun. Obviously stick to the measures, but have fun. Now, I did say in my Cedar Fair predictions video, mid-season predictions video that uh, went up, uh, along with the Milan Entertainment's one, um, I did say in that one that the coronavirus alert level, according to reports in the UK, has gone down from level 4 to level 3, which is good news. Um, but they are still putting these measures in place. But I like the fact that the Pleasure Beach are going to do these winter weekends because, like I said, 15 years ago they did them for the last time and now 15 years later, they're back. And I see this as a way of bringing those memories back that they lost in the spring. We didn't get any memories of Pleasure Beach in the spring, so it looks like we're going to create some winter memories instead. 
to go with summer and Halloween. Now, Halloween is a very interesting thing to talk about as well with Journey to Hell Freak Nights. Obviously, a lot of people weren't a massive fan of the event last year, but I know the park are looking to improve year upon year. Obviously, it was the first time they tried out mazes and things like that, so, you know, cut, you know we need to, obviously, we cut them a bit of slack. So, you know, they did try it. They, it, you know, they tried it. Congratulations to them last year for the Halloween event. Obviously, question marks are still arising about whether the Halloween event's going to go ahead this year. Uh, but from what I heard from Alton Towers, there was some audio from the Attic Terror of the Towers playing inside the towers. So that gives me positive signs that Scarefest, with the right measures in place, will go ahead. Maybe limited capacity, no actor touching within the mazes. So I think they'll, they may redesign the mazes and make them look fresh to make sure there's no act touching from the actors, uh, just in case. Obviously, they may play on the idea of two meters apart. It's the same with Pleasure Beach with their mazes for Journey to Hell Freak Nights this year. I think that all scare events may play on the idea of two meters apart uh, with social distancing, and I think they may use it to their advantage. And I think they may um, may create some new scares that we've that we've hardly seen for a few years. So I think there's a real potential creative opportunity for Halloween with the right measures in place. So I think Journey to Hell Freak Nights may potentially go ahead. But like I said with these winter weekends, I think this is a great idea for the park to do these again. And I think that the park are going to do something fantastic with them. Obviously, you know, us in the community, we love speaking about the future of theme parks. And I've got a really good feeling about Blackpool Pleasure Beach's future. I've got a really good feeling about them because they've got some great attractions already at the park. They've got plenty of space to expand. Uh, obviously, there's that car park behind Infusion as well. Um... There's also the Wild Mouse and Trauma Towers site. Uh, there's a couple of other sites for development. Obviously, we know that Valhalla's been refurbished. Now, whether that opens in 2021, we don't know. Um, but, you know, I wouldn't mind it to open in 2021, but I think it depends when they can get the full thing done. If it's been delayed till 2022, then that's fine. We all und we understand why. COVID-19, measures in place, things like that. We all understand why. But... The Valhalla refurbishment is the exciting project that we're counting down towards at Pleasure Beach. And I think that if it does still go ahead in 2021, I'll be very, very surprised. Now, whether it goes ahead in 2021 or 2022, I don't know. But what I am for sure is I hope the park does announce the full thing by the end of this year. Uh, if it's been delayed till 2022, then maybe, you know, 2021, uh, 2021 uh, full announcement for the 2022 attraction. But I think with this, I think it will be 2021 opening, but I think it'll be a summer one, not a spring one, or a, like an early February half term kind of thing. I think it will be a late summer 2021 opening. Uh, but with this project, I can't wait to see what they're going to announce with this, what's going to happen with the ride, what's going to happen with the story, whether we're going to get a new soundtrack or not. I'm very 50-50 on what's going to happen with this. So I'm very excited for that project, and I've got a very exciting uh, um, gut feeling about Pleasure Beach in the future. They've, they've put in some great attractions over the last few years. Icon, Sky Force has been decent. Um... You know, they've done some other exciting projects and other events as well. So, I think we've got a good, a, a very, very good future for Pleasure Beach. And I think this winter weekends and seeing these return again for the first time in 15 years, I think is another great sign for the future. Uh, so, thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news update on Blackpool Pleasure Beach and the return of winter weekends. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell. Keep on the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.